Hello and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines with your three loaded the Hidden Mad. We are in downtown now. We are going to explore this place. It's it's all very nice and all. I don't recommend exact remember exactly what business I had in each of these places, but I know there's some to be had. Gentleman over there. What was over here? Nothing yet, I guess. Looks like a couple of thugs there. Not sure what they're planning, if they're planning anything yet. Alright, this is the local club, I think. Some dudes about. Some dark corners around. I can't quite remember everything about this place. I remember Santa Monica a lot better, but Santa Monica was also a lot smaller, I think. It might be that I did Santa Monica more times than I did downtown. What's this? Oh, Skyline Apartments. Let's go and take a look. Right. I think this is where we have our own apartment as well. But I'm not entirely sure. Since we have not yet been given any notice about said apartment. Ooh, what's this? Yeah, apparently. Email. Oh, I don't know this one. Fascinating. Apartment notes? Apartment 1. Simon Milligan, he's on TV, so our footage of his place will be worth something eventually. I gotta keep an eye on him. Apartment 2. Sean Milton, he's a slob and he never really has chicks over. Some guy has been staying with him lately, so I haven't watched too much. So I haven't wanted too much. Want yeah, yeah, yeah. Georgia Welch, this rich broad is pretty hot. Oh, the password on her door is 9648, so maybe I'll sneak in there and steal some panties to auction off online. Huh. Alright, apartment 4. Vacant, no reason to keep an eye on this one. Apartment 5. Paul Anderson, I thought there was no reason to watch him, but then I caught him upstairs. and keep the day prowling. Apartment 6. That was 7. Hannah Glazer, the gold mine. Something hot is always going down in here, and that something is usually Hannah herself. Alright, so. Currently, I have absolutely no experience to spend on anything, but. Uh, hacking relies on wits. I think it was Auspex that increased wits. So let's take a look at that email now. Oh, a peeping Tom, eh? Well, obviously. Hey, Tom, it sounds like we have a deal. You keep sending in that security footage and I'll pay you for the good stuff. Literally, peeping Tom. Considering the name is also Tom. I find this very rude, so I throw a glass right through that window. Wasn't there vent access down here somewhere? Like right here? Oops. I just want to get in there. Yes. Okay, this is apartment one. Right, let me check something real quick. Holstering is under H. Surprisingly enough. Okay, what's this? A photo. Let me look at this photo. A blurry photo of what looks to be a Nosferatu. Okay, tell me about your email. 
Is everyone just... Well, tell me about upcoming shows first, then. Show 17? A dilapidated hospital in the downtown area. This place is very spooky. Minimal work required. The place is scary as hell. We'll say it's the ghost of a nurse who feels as if she still has patients to serve. Show 18. There's a cemetery in Hollywood. It's full of actors with more than just dead careers. Again, it shouldn't take m much effort on our part. Alright. So. Jump out. Prospects up. And email. Uh, one. Hot Day LA is like the greatest show ever. I totally am gonna visit uh, all the places you talk about. Hey, you should go to this one hotel I stayed at one time in Palm Springs. I swear it was haunted. The ghost kept turning on the sink faucet. Maybe he had OCD about washing his hands. Lol. Haunted LA, my ass. Even if there were such a thing as ghosts and shit, which there ain't. There's no fucking way a goddamn werewolf could be hanging out in Griffith Park. Just who in the hell do you think you're fooling? It's not even as if we have real fucking wolves around here for you to hide out with. I hope you get eaten by some flesh-eating monster, you stupid bastard. Well, that's kind. Does it look like his home, though? I think he might be at the hospital. And the hospital is not a nice place to be? If my memory betrays me not. It's a nice TV. But actually, I do believe there's no one home, so I should be able to just walk around freely. You know, just throw around this camera. It's fine. Oop, oop. Alright, what do we have here? Washing machines. Maybe one of them is a dryer. I don't know how American households work. I think dryers are a popular thing there. Uh, my household simply has, uh, you know, clock lines to try things on. All right, I'm just gonna quick save real quick, 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 and so we can feel as if no progress has been lost in case anything goes weird. That looks like something's there. Once again, I will stop from Start from upstairs. But this looks messy. A mean messy. Oh, a guitar. Game of for advanced students. What's that? I need a higher research skill to use it. What's my research skill? Free. So you need more scholarship and more intelligence. That's fair enough. I also need more bits. There's a lot of things I need. But generally, research skill is good because that allows for more uses of books. And books can be good. Once again, this doesn't look like anyone's home. But there's some car stereos. Mr. Milton. You know who this is, and I do hope you realize that we're still on for tonight. Meet me at the agreed-upon location across from the bar by the underpass. Bring your associate, Mr. Durbin, as it is a two-man job that I am proposing. With any luck, the two of you are already on your way, and I shall see you soon. Goodbye. Well, that explains why he's at home. I don't have a reflection! Oh no! Some would say it would be a limit of the technology at the time, but no. This is simply a matter. A matter of vampirism. Yes. Alright, well. What's this? That looks like a nice computer. Unless it didn't seem to work. Safe. Probably above a four. Again. Six. 
Yeah, even Auspex won't help me there. Right. Where is your safe? I can't actually see it. Might be easier to lockpick it. Yeah. Anyway, this looks like a really nice apartment set. I like it. Alright. We didn't gain anything from here right now because I didn't actually take the proper time to look for the safe. And I didn't have the hacking skill necessary to open the safe. Alright, this one we can't go into the vents of. This one we might be able to. take a look I don't actually remember who lives there four of us vacant right I think four is where I'm supposed to live might be wrong I don't think I'm wrong this once again looks like no one's here God, they left the fridge door open. There's nothing there either. What's this? Not just a phone. No one's hiding in the bathroom. Does it look like there's anyone hiding anywhere here? Yeah. Cool. And let's head on to the last floor. And then we will have completed our espionage of this apartment complex. Oh, this one's locked. As is this one, right. I guess there might be a different reason to come in here. The guy does burn pretty brightly, I'd say the that would be an understatement, maybe. Can we leave by the main door from here? I want to get on an elevator. No, this is closed. Oh well. I like that these maintenance shafts are so easily accessible. And quite fully so. Okay, we just need to get back to an elevator. So we haven't yet been granted this apartment. I want to see if we can get in it. The odds are the answer is no. And if I want to check my me email, I will actually have to go home. Santa Monica, I mean. Yeah, this is currently inaccessible. So back to ground floor it is. Because I have no business up in six, do I? Well, let me check my journal though. Right. So we did get uh, an information on some things. And we are expected to go visit Rodriguez and the bunch. Which honestly, doesn't sound like a bad plan. Okay, there's the hotel. I don't think I have business there yet. I think there's probably quite a few things that require me to talk to people before I get to cause chaos in them. I like your hairdo. Also lack of pants, but trousers, really. There seems to be some sort of infection going on here. I'm not sure I like it. Well, we have a lead into this place. 
I don't know if we're supposed to follow anyone there yet. We also have an invitation here. Right, this is the house offered to the premier as a home, as an apartment, as a place to stay. It's a pretty nice and sizable place, I'm sure. Uh, let me check that again. Quest log. Find us. Find me where bones the mystical sun. But I'm not sure how that helps me navigate this set of tunnels. Wait, this, wait. no, this is. This is something else. Uh, let me look at that item. Gargoyles. During the medieval conflict with the Tsimis, Clandermere delved further into secret blood magics and created a race of protectors known as Gargoyles. Since their inception, Gargoyles have been used as scouts, warriors and sentries. Gargoyles are monsters vampires by virtue of the blood and flesh through which they are created. They are no more than traitors of other clans given a second chance to serve their Tsimis creators. Unfortunately, many have wrongly come to view their service as slavery and have fled their masters in search of some delusion or utopia. Most escaped cargoes live in isolation, preferring solitude to even the company of their kind. Homunculi. For the most menial and mindless tasks, many Tremere create what is called a homunculus. These are mindless creatures which take many forms, winged, many legged, or otherwise. Homunculi are unfailingly loyal, but their appearance makes them a serious threat to breaking the masquerade. Don't bring them anywhere then. Right. So I was most of this supposed to come see Greetings, you, right? Neonate. Might I assume you received my invitation? I have been looking forward to meeting you for quite some time. Blood, magic, and betrayal, and the true king upon his throne. Ah, a child of Malkab, no less. Do dark visions cloud your sight, young one? Shattered reflections of your clan father's mind. The glass is cracked, but strangely there clear. There is truth in your words, Neonate. More than you yet realize. Your madness allows you to glimpse the truth of this existence. To see through the shadowy veil into the world beyond. Once you are head and once you are one near head and iron crown, but the chest that dances before you. Hmm. Be cautious when speaking of these visions. Truth is rarely welcomed by those who cannot see it. There are many kindred who will be less, shall we say, accepting of it than I am. Tell me your name, Wizard King. Strauss. Maximilian Strauss. I am the regent of this chantry. Welcome. Chantry holds mystery for me. A chantry is a local gathering place for those of the Tremere clan. I live here as do apprentices from time to time. Regent is opaque and shadowy. A regent is the leader of a chantry, as well as a teacher to young Tremere apprentices who are studying the mysteries of our clan. Reveal these mysteries, Wizard King. I'm sorry, Neonate. The secrets of the Tremere clan are hidden from all but those who share our blood. You would do best not to look into them any further. Tell me of this dark city of angels. Let me give you some advice, young one. Your survival in kindred society will often depend on your ability to find out yourself what is going on around you. Remember that well. Memory is really a gift of the schizophrenic. As for what is going on here in downtown, the word on everyone's lips, kindred or kind, seems to be epidemic. Ah, a withered horse runs among us. It seems that disease has been spreading at an alarming rate throughout the downtown population. Considering our particular appetites, the local kindred are more than concerned about these developments. Dirty blood is our doom. Yes, indeed. My opinion is that the local anarchs are responsible for these outbreaks. Their precipitous indulgence of certain passions often leads to such things. Ergo, their need for the watchful eye of the Camarilla. And cloud this Camarilla. The Camarilla. It is merely a kindred sect that exists to protect its members from the outside world. 
There are specific codes of behavior that we abide by in order to ensure the continuance of our species. It is nothing more and nothing less. On cloud but No, th that's what they just asked. One thing more. Of course. Perhaps I might probe the problem of this plague? Hmm. An interesting proposition. If you succeed in finding the cause of this epidemic and putting an end to it, I will compensate you appropriately for your efforts. And what of my reward, Mr. I King? will ponder the nature of your payment while you are gone. Believe me, I will treat you fairly, Neonate, and your service to the Camarilla won't be forgotten. I should do this too. Very well. Again, I recommend speaking with the Anarchs. You can find most of them at the local watering hole, reveling in the vices of their former lives. I believe the place is called The Last Round. May I mine your green matter? What is it you would like to know? Uh, I have m more questions about the Camarilla. Surely. What else would you like to know? Do all bloodsuckers belong to this brood? No. There are many independent clans who are not aligned with the Camarilla. And the Sabbat is another sect of various vampire clans whose beliefs are very different than our own. Unsavory sorts, to say the least. I understand you have already run afoul of them. Uh, Rodriguez, the Midnight Warrior, casts a long shadow. Ah, yes. The infamous Mr. Rodriguez. I understand you owe him your life twice now. Had he not intervened, the prince would have surely had that hound of his separate your head from your shoulders. His pale hand was well appreciated. In any case, it's a shame that Rodriguez cannot see the wisdom of the Camarilla. He would make a powerful ally. As it is, he is a significant thorn in the Croix's side, which serves my purposes just the same. Do not the Wizard King and the Chester Prince share the purpose? The Croix is a prince, neonate, and a Ventru on top of that. Even if he weren't as young and indiscriminate as he's already proven himself to be, I... But I say too much. Let us just say that he and I have differing ideas on the use of power. Put your trust in this shattered sight, Wizard King. I have overstepped my bounds. I will say no more. One thing more? Of course. May I mind your What is it you would like to know? Uh, I have more questions. Surely. Uh, why did the Anarchs shun this freaky family? The Anarchs feel that they don't need the structure and discipline of the Camarilla. I feel that they pose a threat, both to those loyal to the Camarilla and to themselves. Most are mere children and need our guidance. The Anarchs need not your motherly musings? I'm sorry you think so. Perhaps we have nothing further to speak of. Uh, wait, perhaps my tongue was a little too testy. A wise choice, Neonate. It is always better to listen and learn than to act with brazen recklessness. Perhaps you might be a useful ally after all. Okay. I leave you for now. It seems there is no reasoning with you. Leave now. Wait, you will no. never enter this chantry again. That's not what I meant. I simply meant to say goodbye. Right, let's grab this again. And then I think the rest of it was just all leading to here. Quick saving this time, just in case. Okay, this time we survived the conversation without getting strand put out of this place. I managed to not select options that evict me immediately. Okay, now we just need to find a way out of this place. That is not it. I know there's a front door to this place as well. Was it down here? Yes. That's the bookshelf again. And we can leave. There's a puppy somewhere. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time when we will continue our merry adventure to downtown LA. Yay!